I first realized I had a problem when I was short of breath all the time. Joan McGee is living with heart disease and recovering from quadruple bypass surgery. There is a misconception that women are somehow immune to heart disease, and that is not the case at all. They are at similar risk as men are for heart disease. Dr. Sabode Verma is a leading researcher and renowned expert on atherosclerosis and vascular disease. The focus now is to try to bring attention to reducing risk factors in women which often get ignored. There are several reasons why that occurs. Some may be the sensitivities and specificities of the tests that are used may actually be different in men and women. Second is we have relied on a Framingham risk calculator. A healthy person walks into our office, we plug in their age, their sex, a few risk factors, and it tells us whether he or she is at risk of developing heart disease. Those calculators work reasonably well for men, but don't work well for women. They actually underestimate risk in women. Finally, when I went to the doctor, is when I did go, they did send me to a cardiologist, and they found out that, yes, there was something wrong. The risk factors for heart disease are often uh, broken into genetic and environmental risk factors. The genetic risk factors, by definition, are factors that we inherit from our parents and grandparents. All my family on my father's side had heart problems. Some of the environmental risk factors include being overweight, smoking, having high cholesterol, having high blood pressure, having diabetes, and aging. The risk factors were high blood pressure and high cholesterol. When it comes to heart disease, genes load the gun and environment pulls the trigger. We can't do much about our genetic influences, but we can change our environmental risk factors. To reduce your risk of heart disease, if you're a smoker, try to quit. If you're overweight, try to lose weight. Incorporate healthy behaviors such as exercise. Decrease your intake of salt. And importantly, know your total cholesterol, know your blood pressure, and see your family doctor. The biggest thing uh, was diet, exercise. Um, those were the two big things. No, no salt diet, uh, low fat diet, and just take better care of yourself in general. <laughs> In addition to her traditional risk factors for heart disease, Joan has one more. We have now recognized that there is a new risk factor for heart disease, and that is inflammation or high C-reactive protein levels that can predispose individuals, both men and women, to increased risk of heart disease. Now, the link between inflammation and heart disease has been strengthened further by a recent study in over 17,000 individuals. Importantly, 40% of the individuals studied here were women. This study looked at individuals who were at relatively lower risk, who actually had low cholesterol, but had elevated or increased levels of inflammation. Inflammation can be measured by a simple blood test. One of the most common blood tests used to measure inflammation is called CRP, or C-reactive protein. This blood test can help doctors identify, in addition to other risk factors that you may have, your future risk of developing a heart attack or stroke. I believe every woman should always go for their physical once a year. And um, if you think you have any kind of heart disease, um, speak up. <laughs> women are not immune with respect to heart disease. They are subject to the same risk factors. Know your risk. Take charge of your risk factors. See your family doctor. Know what your level of inflammation is. Know your blood pressure. Know your cholesterol. Try to exercise. Lose weight. Quit smoking. I feel that I have more energy. I feel that um, I can do more for a longer period of time. And I don't need help with doing a lot of things <laughs> like I used to. To find out more about heart disease, speak to your doctor and visit this website.